Uh, yeah, it's feeling a lot better. Taking it day by day. Um, you know, I just came over here to do some rehab stuff. Were you surprised when they gave you the one or two weeks more practice? <laughs> um, to be honest, uh, yeah, very surprised and very shocked. But, you know, it's a day by day. We got great training staff. We got a, we got guys, you know, they want to protect me and, you know, make sure I, I get back to 100%, you know, so that that's the reason for that. Are you one of those guys who needs protecting from himself? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely could say that. How do you keep the positive momentum going because you were rolling at such a high clip while you were playing? I mean, it's just come back happy, you know, just come back trying to do the things I, I was, you know, finished off doing, you know. It's only a minor setback, you know, a couple of weeks off won't, you know, won't, won't kill me, but it, it'll hurt me. But I, as long as I come back and do what I know how to do, I think I'll be okay. Are you good at being patient with things no. like this or no? No, not at all. Now, a couple of your other uh, teammates, like DeMar, will be put in a ball handling position. Is there anything that you've talked to them sure, about? A couple of your other teammates will be put in a ball handling position. They talked mm -hmm. about DeMar handling the ball a lot more to start the mm -hmm. offense. You were doing it so well. Anything you've told those guys about what you were doing to be so effective that they can add? I mean, those guys, we're all NBA players. We all can dribble the basketball. So it's pretty much, you know, just go out there and do what you're, you know how to do. You know, it's not nothing, anything new. Um, it's not anything that you can't do. You just got to be comfortable and learn how to be confident by doing it. The Indiana game, or were you traveling? I was traveling most of the day. Yeah, I, I didn't get to see the game. I heard it was a, a great four quarter for us. <laughs> are you, you going to travel now? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to travel. Is that hard? Um, yeah, it's very difficult because I know I want to be out there with my teammates, but at the same time, I'm there with my teammates, supporting them, and, and, and being being the eyes, you know, on the court but off the court. Yeah, going to next question during games, you can pull guys aside yeah. and give it Yeah, always. Yeah. I always can. You know, that's that's what I try to do when I even when I'm playing and I'm not in the game. I try to give my own perspective of you know what I see and what could be done. What, what has been your perspective of what's been going on the last couple of games? I mean, we just we, we're fighting hard. You know, we, you know, last couple of games, you know, triple overtime. I think guys got a little bit tired at the end and uh, we missed some shots. Um, and then in Indiana, they played a you know a four, hard for a game, but the fourth quarter they just couldn't make a basket. But you know, the defense held strong and um, you know, luckily we got the win. What are you doing from a training perspective to kind of stay ready for, for when you're able to get back on that? There's nothing you really could do to get ready for basketball. You just can do a couple things, conditioning, you know, on a bike and, and an elliptical. But other than that, you just got to kind of wait till you get back to get yourself back going basketball-wise. <laughs> this group's got a little bit of a history with uh, the Boston Celtics. Uh, I, yeah, they do a little bit. It's been a little chippy. And uh, recently, last year was the first time with the season split. Have you talked to the guys about how they're going to compete? No, I mean, Boston's a great team. You know, they've been, you know, title contenders the last, you know, five, six years. And, you know, anytime you go in their place, they're going to be physical. They're going to be chippy. But they have those type of players, and, they, you know, that's what they do. You talked about the, the training staff and how they've been able to probably get back. Hey, is there any chance that you might be able to return? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to take it day by day and uh, get in my rehab and do everything I need to do and listen to the trainers. Any advice to Jonas about dealing with KD? You're going to have to learn. You know, you got to learn. I mean, it's, he's, a, he's a Hall of Famer. He's about to play against, but, you know, I'm, uh, JV's going to knock back down. He's going to play his game. What have you seen from Jose over the last couple of years? He's been playing fantastic. He's doing, you know, what he's, he's been known to do. He's a very he's professional. He's always a guy who can get, get great assist numbers and make some shots, and that's what he's been doing. And, I mean, I can't wait to get back on the floor with him, you know, and make both our jobs a lot easier.